Hi, good morning, Alan. Here, just working on this Heiko 936, although it's a clone. It's it's a very good clone. I um, bought the bits all separately. I bought this front bit. Um, I think it's with nine dollars, about six to nine dollars, and then I also bought the case. And it came with a front, um, and it was seventeen dollars. And I bought the iron, um, which was about seven dollars. So about twenty-three dollars, all up for these bits. Now, um, I already had this um, transformer. It's twenty-four volt at about three amps, which is plenty for what I want to do. Um, and what they, some of these solar irons tend to do is they tend to, when you buy them online, they tend to just leave the, the um, mains wire connected. Well, um, I don't want that because it's not always you're using them. So what I've done, I've put in the um, mains connector here and I've got a fuse, which is going to have a three amp, um, three amp mains, mains in there. And the switch, it comes with a switch, um, one side of the um, main side switch to the live side, which both, both live anyway, so it's AC, um, but I'll switch what comes out of the plug at, um, on the brown side, and then um, take it through this, and then this is the secondary, um, and this is 24 volts, and it runs, it's just nice, I've tested it. Um, it takes it nice up to 480 um, degrees in Celsius. Um, as I connect it, when I measure it's 24 volts. When it's um, when it's under load, it goes to around 1920 volts. That's still okay. Um, I'm going to measure the current, but for now, what I want to do is wire it up to get all the bits in to get my earth on and my earth to the iron as well so that iron is earth um, and have this in place um, so I wire that up and then and then put the put the top on um, and put it together then that'll be a, a nice working soldering iron for myself um i've already changed the tip on this to um, this like a a little a little wedge and it's clean but i've ordered this is um this is the normal um wound whatever it is but i've ordered a ceramic tip for this um i think the beauty of the ceramic is that when you take this tip off, this is pretty good. Um, it goes on and it's got this little collar that goes over and makes the gap less. And I suppose that makes the Heiko better. So this heat transference is very good. Um, whereas on the other ones it's not so good um, and it's just loose on there so the heat um, exchange isn't working so well but this is this is very good I'm, I'm very impressed with this and um, that it does that and so the heat transfer heat exchange is excellent and then um, but when I change it to the ceramic it'll be even better um, the ceramic is even closer um, the gap is even closer than than that and I think the heat transfer on the ceramic is better in in itself anyway I've got to angle that correctly anyway so I'm going to do some soldering now and get these up but I'll come back when it's all connected in here but not together and test it and um, and then I'll, I'll do do some more and put it together <laughs> 